I've now taken this spreadsheet that shows the number of sex offenders living in each of these addresses and uploaded it to Google Fusion Tables using the techniques you've already seen demonstrated. Um, and I've asked Google Fusion Tables to show the data as a map, so, uh, so here they are. Uh, now each of the red dots on this map represents one of the addresses in this spreadsheet back here. Um, and more to the point, uh, each red dot represents an address that has um, at least one, but maybe more, sex offenders living there. Uh, just as back here in the, in, the, um, in the spreadsheet, each of these rows represents an address sometimes that has only one sex offender living there, sometimes an address that has, in this case, as many as four living there. Um, so, it would be awfully nice if we could get Google Fusion Tables to change the color of dots um, depending on the number of people each dot represents. That way we could look at the um, map and pretty easily spot addresses that have two or three or more uh, sex offenders living there, as opposed to addresses that have only one living there. Uh, so to do that we're going to use something that Google Fusion Table calls buckets. Think of these as actual buckets that you might drop different kinds of addresses into. So you might have, for example, a, a bucket that you put all the addresses in that have only one sex offender living there. And then you might have another bucket that you put addresses in if there are two sex offenders living at that address. And then a third bucket that you might put all the addresses in that have three or more sex offenders living there. Um, so to set that up, you need to click this Configure Styles link up here at the top of the map. And then the Buckets link right here. And I'm going to tell Google Fusion Tables to divide the data into, in this case, three buckets. I could choose more if I wanted, but I think three will be enough to, to, to demonstrate what you can do here. And I'm going to have it create those buckets based on the count column. Now that would be the column back here in the spreadsheet that had the, um, uh, the number of sex offenders living at each address in it. So that's why we chose that one. In this case, it happened to be the only column available because it's, there are only two in the whole spreadsheet and the other one's being used uh, for the geocode information. All right, um, so let's see, we're gonna have three buckets and let's represent them with kind of increasingly alarming colors. Uh, I'm gonna change the defaults here and make uh, the first bucket, this will be the one with only uh, one sex offender living there. I'm gonna make it green and I'm gonna leave the bucket that's gonna have addresses with two living there, uh, I'm gonna leave that as yellow and then change this one to red. So it's kind of like a traffic light. It just makes it easy to remember. Green, yellow, red. Um, now, this area here, I'm going to change uh, first and then explain to you why I'm doing what I'm doing because it'll make a little more sense. I'm going to change that to a 2 and change this one to a 3, uh, just like that. So what we've set up here is, is we've told Google Fusion Tables to um, take addresses that um, have only one person there, in other words between 0 and 2, uh, 0 up to 2, uh, show a, a, a green dot for those folks. And addresses uh, that have 2 up to 3, in other words just 2, um, as yellow, and then anywhere from 3 up to 100, which is more than uh, live at any one address on the map, uh, show those folks as, uh, uh, shows th those addresses by a red dot. Um, so there we go, I think this is all set up. I'm going to click Save down here at the bottom. And uh, Google Fusion Tables has updated the map pretty quickly at this time. Sometimes it sort of takes a little while. you got to move things around to get it to refresh. Uh, so right away we see that most of the addresses um, um, have only one sex offender living there. But we have a couple of yellows. These would be um, addresses with two living there. And then we also have some reds, which would be addresses with uh, three or more living there. Let's go see where these places are. Um, here's one, for example, if we can zoom in a little bit here, down on uh, Church Street. There we are. Uh, and this is, let's see where this is. The address is 2025 South Church Street in Murfreesboro. Uh, and so you might be wondering, well, what's that? Um, it turns out uh, uh, one easy way to do this is to use uh, Google Maps. There we go. Um, you can actually take that address and just copy it into Google Maps and click search. And uh, there we are. 
Uh, and what we've learned right away is that is the Regal Inn in Murfreesboro. Uh, so what you've got here is you've got, in this case, nine registered sex offenders all living at the Regal Inn in Murfreesboro. Not necessarily a place you'd want to spend the night, especially with your young children. And there are a couple of other places like that in Murfreesboro well, as well. Uh, some of them are hotels. Most of, them, most of the Revlins, in fact, are hotels of some sort. This is the VA hospital up here, um, and you can check out the yellow ones for yourself as well. Um, but do you see, now we've made the map more interesting. We've, we've um, um, made it easy to look at this map right away and find out where the sort of clusters of uh, registered sex offenders are.